It was a young DA who made a mistake. That's what Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm says about the $1,000 bail that allowed 39-year-old Daryl Brooks to go free just days before the Waukesha Holiday Parade. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson joins us live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse where Chisholm spoke with reporters today for the first time since this happened. That's right, Steph and Ben. The DA spoke to reporters here at his office after speaking before a Milwaukee County committee. One of the supervisors on that committee has a granddaughter who is still in intensive care after Daryl Brooks's SUV slammed into her dance troupe. I'm not here to make excuses. Um, I, I own every decision that's made by any member of my office. For the past 14 years, John Chisholm has served as Milwaukee County's top prosecutor. When I first ran in 2007, I, I made a commitment to the community that I would do everything in my power to try to identify people by risk. But when one of his assistant DAs charged Daryl Brooks with his second violent felony in two years, she failed to even look at his pre-trial risk assessment because he says she was overloaded with other cases. He had a, a young ADA trying to do the very best she could under really difficult circumstances, and she made a mistake. Chisholm's first public remark since the Waukesha parade tragedy came to a county board committee that includes supervisor Patty Logsdon. Been difficult. Whose granddaughter is still hospitalized from the parade attack. We need to be aggressive. This has to stop. In fact, Logsdon is one of the supervisors who called Chisholm before the committee. We know that a lot of people in the Waukesha community have paid a heavy price. Yes. Your family has paid a heavy price. Do you think the district attorney should pay a price? We're all human. We all make decisions that we regret. Um, I do think he is, should be accountable. But the DA brushed aside calls for his resignation. When things get tough, when, when there are tough uh, things that occur, um, the, the response shouldn't be to quit, uh, to run away from the problem. The obligation I have is to lead my people so they can continue doing the work they have to do every single day, which is trying to keep people safe. Not only did the DA brush aside calls for his resignation, he actually told the county board his prosecutors deserve a raise. Both he and Chief Judge Mary Trigiano, who spoke in the meeting as well, say they are dealing with staffing shortages, and that is making it harder to keep up with a massive caseload caused both by the COVID-19 pandemic and a record increase in violent crime. Outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators. Yeah, not exclusive to Milwaukee County. There's shortages all over the state. Brian, thank you.